it's what's good everybody it's your boy big baby here man welcome to another episode of big baby sports man um before we get into today's video i just want to say make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button man and uh, we're going to talk about the lakers win versus the golden state warriors 109 to 103 this puts the lakers at 26 and 31 but before we get into today's game roll that intro laker nation I'm here to be an all-time great. You're now rocking with the best. Virgin yellow, virgin yellow, virgin yellow, virgin yellow. The Lakers repeat back-to-back players. Back Welcome to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Oh, he's smoking hot. The latest Laker news. Another great showtime feed. The greatest Laker show. This is going to be legendary for a long time. This is is the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Lakers all day. Go Lakers! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby here, man, from Big Baby Sports, man. Lakers get the win. 109-103, to 103, man, beating the Golden State Warriors. Um, shout out to everybody on the Lakers squad. We, our new acquisitions that we got from D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Vanderbilt, Mikhail Beasley, and uh, D'Angelo Russell. They stepped up big tonight. LeBron didn't play tonight, but shout out to everybody. Shout out to D'Angelo Russell in his second game back with the Lakers, second stint. And uh, he had 15 points, six assists, and five rebounds. D'Angelo Russell is efficient, 6 for 12 from the field, 1 for 3 from 3. I like his um, demeanor on the court with AD. They were talking on multiple pick and rolls. They were engaged early. That's what you like from this team. You know, what I saw from this Laker team, before I get in the comments, shout out to everybody in the comments. I see people commenting. But before I get into that, man, what I saw from this new Laker squad, more hungrier, more desire, more fight, more passion, more toughness. We're a young team now. With Jordan Vanderbilt, with D'Angelo Russell, you know, shout out to Archie Mora, Anthony Davis. We just fought tonight. You know what I mean? We we played really good tonight. From the defense side of the ball, it was a it's basically a close though. The biggest lead that the Warriors had was an eight point lead. Usually, if we had an old, the old squad, we would have got blown out by thirty tonight. If we had the old squad of three games ago, with the Westbrooks of the world, the Thomas Bryant's of the world, with the, all the players that we got rid of, we would have got blown out tonight. But what I saw from Darvin Ham was. He let the players compete at a high level. You know what I mean? And I liked what Archie Moore did from a defense standpoint, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 6 for 11 from the field. Liked the engagement from him, too, defensively. He was there grabbing rebounds, deflecting the ball in the passing lane. He was setting good screens. He was just running around the rim. You know what I mean? And I just I just liked it from the Lakers' side, you know? And uh, I'm going to get into some comments, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button. We got, uh, what up, Eric? What's up? What's going on? Hey, Lakers all day dope, man. You want to come on, man? Must, it, people can come on, man. But I like what I saw from this team. But AD did struggle. Um, 5 for 19 from the field. 13 points, 16 rebounds. But he did have three blocks. You know, in the beginning of the game, I'm going to keep it real like I always do. Um, he was getting fouled. He wasn't. He just seemed like he wasn't mentally focused tonight. But sometimes you have games like that. You know, 5 for 19, the calls are not going away, but he stuck it out. I know he only had 13 points, but he grabbed good rebounds when we need to the most, blocked shots when we need to the most. You know, I just liked how he came when he overcome that. You know, I mean, 5 for 19 from the field, getting fouled, and then not calling anything. And just one of those games where AD was struggling, but he fought hard, he competed. You know, got three blocks tonight when we need to the most. But Golden State is a, is a talented team, man. Um, Draymond Green had, let me see, 12 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. Let me see, Jordan Poole had 29 points, 11 for 25 from the field, 3 for 10 from 3. He scored all their points in the fourth quarter, basically. You know, but uh, we did a good job defensively tonight. Like, we competed, man, and I got to give the game ball. To Jordan Vanderbilt, man. He came in and started the defense early. Grab rebounds. He only played 17 minutes. I wish he could play a little bit more. He had 
eight rebounds, four assists, and only shot 5% of the field. He should have played more. He brought the energy. He brought the hustle. He brought the, you know, he what he he brought the energy from the start, and that's what we need. And that's the thing, too. Mo Bamba didn't play. He's playing Monday versus, I think either he's back either against Portland or um, the Pelicans because I believe he's still serving that five-game suspension, you know? You know what I mean? But other than that, man, I like what I saw. Anybody want to come on here on Big Baby Sports, man? Like button. Yeah, so LeBron didn't play tonight, and they're saying LeBron has a sore ankle. Um, Chris Haynes on his podcast saying that um, he's dealing with a foot injury. They checked it, came back clean. You know, but Lakers did a good job defensively tonight. Let me see here what we got in the team stats. You know, we shot 8 for 25 from 3, 32%. Free throws, 21 out of 26. We did good on three po- uh, free throws tonight. But uh, Mikael Beasley struggled, but he, at least he was competing and grabbing rebounds, and he was competing. Mikael Beasley was in there defensively. You know, our new acquisitions, man, were 1-0. And I'm going to keep it real. Like your nation, I always keep it real on my channel. I don't baby anybody, but I feel like that. Let me see here. Um, I just saw a different attitude from the Laker team. I saw more hungry team, more competitive team. And you see how when you get rid of somebody that's not working out for you, you trade them, and look what happens. I, I didn't feel it. There's no bad vibes on this team anymore. You know what I mean? In my personal opinion, it didn't work out with Russell Westbrook. It didn't work out. We got rid of him, and look what happens when you get rid of Russell Westbrook. More, we're, we're more competitive. We don't see any power. We don't see anybody. Oh, my God, you're hurting my feelings because you took me out. We don't see any of that. We see competitiveness. We see passion. We see toughness. We see everything, man. Like this game, I know AD struggled, you know, in the first, second half, but he competed towards the end and got rebounds when we needed and blocked shots. I'm going to bring Lakers all day on here. What's going on, Lakers all day? What's going on? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? So, uh, overall, what's your thoughts about the game? I know you're watching the stream on Angry's channel. Go subscribe to his channel, Lakers World Order. But uh, what do you think about the game overall in your aspect of uh, the new acquisitions that we brought in? Um, I really like that Vanderbilt guy. He's really, really good. I mean, he's good. He's good. He's another uh, – he, he's better. I mean, he's really reliable. You know what I'm saying? He get, He's hustled. He can dribble. He can shoot. Well, I don't know about the but he can dribble, he can get to the paint, he can block shots. You know what I'm saying? Uh, D'Angelo Russell, that's, you know what I'm saying? We already know what he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? He just got to get acclimated. And people don't understand that, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like uh, D'Angelo, right? D'Angelo like, like, like that pick and roll. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? The pick and roll with LeBron and, and D'Angelo or low-key, um, you know, AD and Mo Bamba, that's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? I I, I want to get Mo Bamba to start. I don't want AD to be in no no center, bro. Cause like you see it right now. You know what I'm saying? He can't he can't bang. You feel me? You know what I'm like he yeah. can't bang, and if he, if he can't bang, he gonna get tired. He gonna start limping and not playing aggressive. He can't be he can't be our center, man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go get. I mean, we gotta go get. Actually, we got to go put Mo Bamba there. So. AD can be that second dude. That's you know what I'm saying because AD played better with the center. So, and, but that's on the coach. You know what I'm saying? If the coach don't see that, then that's he he low key messing us up. You know what Let's I'm saying? Go. Yeah, it's going on, Laker girl. And, How you doing? And I I'm feel good. like I'm good. How are you? Really, uh, and I feel like Malik Beasley, he had he had a he had a um, you know what I'm saying? Not like a good night, but it's the first game. You know what I'm saying? He'd be yeah. okay. But Shout out to uh, I like LA for life. I like our players. Shout out to LA for life. Hey, Big Bay. Shout out to you. Happy birthday, Joseph. Happy birthday. But yeah, man. Overall, uh, Laker girl, what do you think about the game tonight? Uh, I didn't. I didn't really watch the game because I was with family. But I seen the highlights. I love the new. I love the new additions. D'Angelo Russell played good. Yep. And I gotta give a shout out. May I give a shout out to one person? Oh, uh, do your thing. His name is Christian Berry, and he was at the game tonight ripping Lakers Nation. Oh, that's what's up. What's going on? The Greek show is popping. What's going on? But, yeah, man, I just – I see it. Like, it, like if we had that same team we had two games ago, we would have got blown out tonight, guaranteed. Yeah. 
but we got guys in that compete, and I feel like we should have took out uh, Troy Brown Jr. and put in uh, Vanderbilt because Vanderbilt only played like 18 minutes. I feel like we need to put him in more. You know, he, he's probably going to earn a starting line. He's going to probably earn a starting position if he keeps playing like this. I know it's just one game, but the way he played tonight, that's what I need to see from him every, every game. Come in and just compete. You know, LeBron didn't play tonight, but the, you know, just imagine when LeBron comes back. I want to see. I want to see how he fits with the team. D'Angelo Russell, he picked him in his top five in starting lineups. He played with LeBron and AD. AD and LeBron no have chemistry, and he is the other thing too. Vanderbilt, Mikael Beasley, and uh, who's the other dude? Oh yeah, who, who else did we get from Minnesota? I'd be forgetting. We got three players, right? Yeah, we just got three. That's it. We got. We got three. Yeah, they, they, all three of them have chemistry because they play in Minnesota together. Yeah. You know? You know, but it's going to be interesting to see what we do when Obama comes back. And then Wendell Gabriel, he struggled tonight. He kept getting – you know, that like that Warrior team is going to be good when uh, Stephen Curry comes back. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's going to be they're great. Gonna, they're going to be a team that everybody's talking about Phoenix. I know everybody's picking them to win the NBA championship, but – you can say you can win an NBA championship on paper. We got to go out there and produce it. I feel like yeah. Golden State's going to be there when they're healthy. I feel like Denver Denver just picked up uh, Reggie Jackson today. Just like yeah. an hour. Like, I think during the game, he cleared waivers. And I feel like he's going to be a part of their team. I mean, I thought he was going to go to the Suns. But Patrick Bailey's in the process of getting bought out. The Suns are interested in Patrick Bailey. I think uh, Golden State and Boston are interested in Patrick Bailey. So... Man. The Phoenix Suns just got Terrence Ross too. Wait, Phoenix? Yeah. When the Warriors? Got, hold on. Today they just got him like a few, like a like an hour, like a couple minutes ago. What Phoenix Suns got? Really? Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. So that's all. Oh, yeah, Warjanowski. What? No way! Wow. Are you kidding me? Wow, I just saw that on my Twitter. I wasn't. Wow. Good luck to you, man. It's all good. As long as they ain't going to Dallas. But it's crazy, man. That, that team's stacked, man. No more, no more excuses for Chris Paul, Devin Booker. This is the opportunity for them to win it all. Like no more excuses for Chris Paul anymore, Devin Booker. No more excuses. They they have to win the championship this year. If they go in, they gotta win. I don't care. They, you know, because Phoenix, man, is a team that is, is going to be a team that people need to recognize. But I feel like Denver is going to compete with them along with us more if we're fully healthy, you know? Definitely, man, definitely. Yeah, dang, I did not see that, but oh, well. At least at least the Clippers in game because I saw that they were interested in Terrence Ross. So, yeah. But, but, yeah, man, overall – I like D'Angelo Russell's game that I just like the offensive flow. It wasn't just – we didn't turn the ball over that much. I noticed that we didn't turn the ball over that much tonight. Yeah, you see that, right? That was good. Yeah. You know, as soon as you get somebody out of there out of L.A., they play better. And that that's probably what it was the whole time, you know? Yeah. If you would have got rid of them earlier in the year, that would have been, you know? Yeah, man. Hey man, I'm 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 gonna I mean well actually you know what else um what else I like I like Vanderbilt I want to see what Malik can do um yeah. I don't like our line I don't like when the coach put in Jenner Schroeder with the, with with Russ with D'Angelo that yeah. that don't work like he needs to stop doing that because it's not does this two guard lineup crap is not gonna work you know what I'm saying D'Angelo does better. With a shooting yeah. guard, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, Austin Reeves so, played decent tonight, but uh, Jenner should have played a good game, like 26 points, I believe, somewhere around that frame. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he did stepped, good. He stepped but, up, yeah. Yeah, he did good, but I, I like having a shooting guard in that position because, you know, D'Angelo knows who to pass it to, and you know what I'm saying? The corner, when 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 Stroder was in the corner, right? Yeah. It was like he didn't, you know what I'm saying? It was like he didn't know what to do with the ball, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you had Austin Reeves or Matt Christie right there, or Malik, Malik would have shot it. Reeves would have shot it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Christie would have mm-hmm. shot it. But I just, yes. I just can't wait till Obama come in. I feel like Obama. I mean, Obama is more aggressive than AD. You know what I'm saying? He, he gonna, he gonna dunk you. He gonna, 
shoot. He gonna shoot mid range. He gonna shoot threes. Yep. You know, so so once so once we get Mo Bamba in there with LeBron, and I think we're gonna be good. But the coach gotta play Mo Bamba. You know what I'm saying? Like he gotta play him. You know, but yeah. I, I like our bench. Our bench is really good. I like it. I like that we got we have bench players. We have rotations now. It's all up to it's all up to the coach. But uh, but yeah, man, I'm gonna let you go because I gotta go sleep. I right, do your thing, tomorrow, man. So yeah, so have a great night, Lakers, all day. You have one. You have a good one, man. All right. You too. All right, man. Oh, what's, go- what's going on, Devin Nuggets, baby, man? You guys got Reggie Jackson, man. That's gonna be a good pickup for y'all. You know what I mean? So. The Laker girl, uh, how do you feel like the uh, Lakers are gonna do when LeBron gets back? I see us, I see us starting. I see us starting. I see us starting a win streak. Mhm. I do too. I, I feel like the acquisitions of new talent that we have is gonna rub off on LeBron, and you know, you might see a time where LeBron plays point, you know, but yeah. I, I like what we did tonight. You know, I know it's just. One game, but the fact that we did it against the um, the Golden State Warriors is a very tempting. They still had other pieces. They still had um, Draymond Green, Clay, still Andrew Wiggins. So that we gotta get credit because the Lakers played good tonight. We beat a Golden State team. You know we're up. We're twenty six and thirty one. All right, yeah, twenty six and thirty one. Yeah, so we're we need we need this win. And Jordan, I feel like Jordan Vanderbilt is gonna be the key for us in the second unit. Yeah. You know, the way that he came in, the way he brought the energy from the start. But literally, the first two seconds he came in the court, grabbed the rebound, put it back up. You know, just took the ball, dribbled, spin everybody and you know. So that, that's what we need, you know. And and people were telling me that this wasn't going to work. All oh, you guys are – you should have kept Russ. And I told people back on people's Twitter spaces, we got rid of Russ because, of, you know, he wasn't doing good with us. And it's a proven fact. You, we got rid of him. And we see a fresh start, fresh legs. DeAndre Russell back. You know, yeah. engage in offense. We didn't see no pouting. We didn't see no, oh, you're taking me out. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very upset. You're good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. And another thing that, and another thing that was nice. That's that was nice. Have LeBron to take a picture with the young, with the fan. Oh. Uh, but yeah, what's up, Lakers and Five? What's going on, man? I gotta, I gotta come on your show one day, man, and chop it up with you, man. You know, or you come on here one of these days, we can do like a show, me, you, Angry, and the panel, man. We need to do like a big show together one of these days, man. If you're down, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, I was going to say, who do you got in the Super Bowl tomorrow, uh, Laker girl? Honestly, I'm not going for anybody. <laughs> yeah. I know. Is it Rihanna performing at halftime? I think Rihanna and Babyface is performing together. Oh, no. Yeah, I know those halftime uh ceremonies and people always watch the super bowl just for the new commercials <laughs> yeah Thank yeah you. man yeah it's gonna be a good super bowl man mm-hmm. but uh yeah man i i see i got the i i keep it real i've been brought as soon as pastor mahomes or as soon as the chiefs traded tyreek hill everybody's like oh he ain't gonna win i said they're gonna win the super bowl this year i gotta stick to it i said that week one so i got the chiefs winning 35 34 27 pastor mahomes gonna have three touchdowns here, here first. He's gonna have three touchdowns. He's gonna be looking like uh, Magic Johnson with the no look passes. He's gonna be, he's gonna be turning up. Yep, it's a great win. Hey, uh, Lakers and five, man. Um, let's do a show together. Are you on Twitter too, Lakers and five? If you are, let me know and I'll follow you. And we can set up a time and date for you to come on the podcast. You know, let me know. But you know, but LeBron's day to day corner Darvin Ham, and he says it's his ankle. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about LeBron's health. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but I I heard it. I heard a report. They said they said he'd probably be back Wednesday, LeBron. Oh, Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we play Portland on Monday, so. Yeah, I think we play. Uh, we play Wednesday. I think we play before the All Star break. Yeah, I think we play Monday and then Wednesday. Yeah. So that could be. We can be right then and there, cause, you know, if, man, what's going on? Yeah. What's up, Steven? going on man uh huh my boys are kings center y'all beat dallas that was a good game um got gotta get credit credit due kings are doing their thing this year I and mean, they got two all-stars congrats to you you know <laughs> uh, my boys are but he's a raider fan he's trolling the comments fly eagles fly no but for real, the kings are a talented team and i feel like mike brown should be considered coach of the year 
Yeah, he said. Yeah, but uh, I feel like the way that the Kings playing this year, they deserve to make the playoffs. The way that they've been playing, you know, they deserve credit where credit's due. And um, it's gonna be interesting to see who they play, who they play in the first round. Yeah. You know what? I actually, I hope you guys play the the Clippers in the first round, of Sacramento. Hope you guys oh. beat them. That'd be crazy if you guys beat them. Go ahead, Laker girl. So, what was that? Was that fan that LeBron took a picture with? Was she a Warriors fan or she a Lakers fan? Because she a Lakers fan. Because when they interviewed her at first, they they said she had on a Warrior scarf, and then changed it once she took a picture with LeBron. Oh, what? But, but I heard she was saying, "Oh, they told me not to say anything." If I was standing right there, sitting next to LeBron, and LeBron was playing, they weren't playing up the part. Said LeBron, "Let's go." Yeah, yeah, because I was watching it. They, yeah, I didn't watch, like I said, I didn't watch the game, but I was watching the highlights. They, they, they did tell her not to say anything. But if I like, if if I paid money for that much money, you know, I'll still say something like, like let's let's say if I was sitting there and they had the Westbrook team that they had, but if they've been playing with Westbrook, I would have said something to the team. Yeah. All right, but come on, Lakers, we got this. Let's step up. You know, it's like that's not being, you know, how some people get upset yeah. when you. Call him out, but this is not calling him. Let's go, Lakers. We can do better. That's not. Yeah. Let's try to get the team going. Yeah. You know, so it's like, yeah. If you guys play the Clippers in the first round, Steven, I hope you guys beat them. Speaking of that, man, people in the comments that listen to me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, hit the like button, everybody. Hey, Steven, share this with your people on your Facebook, bro. Appreciate you. Um, Kawhi Leonard, man, missed 27 games this year. It, it, it's he does. He does I said this on my Twitter. He's unmotivated to play this year. He's inconsistent, like in the far as playing games, you know. Mm-hmm. But other than that, man. Do you see us? Do, do you see us? Do you see us still in the last r- roster spot in the buyout market? That's a good question. Uh, depending because on what I'm we, hearing what we the reports that the, that the Lakers could be interested in Danny Green again. Yeah, I saw that too. But I take him back for, for, yeah, for defense and three pointer. Yeah. But we'll see. I feel like we should – but we need an actual big, like a – I wish we got Cousins, but Wendell Gabriel, he's talented, love his game, but he just – he gets in foul trouble a lot. Yeah, he does. So it's like we need to do better on that. Other than that, I, I, I was in the comments on Angry Show. I didn't really – the only problem I had was with AD not showing up, but that's the thing. You're going to have games like that. You're going to have games where you're not playing well. You're going to have shooting nights like that. But at the end of the day, you're going to have a game where you can um, play with defense and – you're, you know, shout out to zero six one zero. Do you think as long as we get in the playoffs, we can win it all? Um, we'll see. We'll see, man. Um, take it one game at a time. We got Portland on Monday, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a grind out game because Dame always plays us well. Yeah. You know they always, they, they got hybrid, but I feel like LeBron should play that game. He's been missing. He's been out for like two games, so hopefully he plays Monday, man. Versus um. Portland. Portland Trailblazers, man. Then we got the Pelicans and then the All-Star break, you know, and Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna uh my boy Steven asked. We had the Patrick Beverly to Orlando. Not surprised, but I wish he would have stayed. I wish it, uh, you know, if we would give up Lonnie Walker, um Lonnie Walker barely played tonight, you know, but it is what it is, the business. Uh, good luck to you, Patrick Beverly, your new journey. You're probably gonna end up in uh Phoenix or Boston. But uh, if he wouldn't surprise me if he went back to the Clippers, to be honest, would not be surprised. But uh, make sure you guys hit the like button, Laker Nation, Laker Girl, go go ahead and tell people where they can follow you at. Follow you at. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Portia Leah Girl, and I'm also a co-host with Angry Laker. And if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, Portia S Games, or request me. Yeah, most definitely. But thank you, everybody, for coming on the show. Thank you, Laker Girl. Um, Thank you, uh, Lakers All Day. And uh, we got this thing. Peace out, one love. Good Lakers, baby.